Um, okay, I hope this live is working. I set this up a little bit earlier just so I can get everything going um, and wait for people to join. Um, that off. Um, okay. No, no, no. Okay, I think I'm live. Am I live? Okay. okay, I think people are joining. I'm going to let um, everyone start to join and then I'll start. Uh, I'll just also start running through the things that you need. Uh, I think it'll also be recorded uh, onto, I'm going to turn my music. Um, I think it'll also be recorded on YouTube, so you can watch it um, after today. Um, but I am going to be running through a pesto with you. Um, and I'll wait till we turn five. Otherwise, I'll start without people. I'm just going to get the greens out. Thanks, everyone, for joining. Um, we're going to be making a pesto soon. I'm just going to wait for everyone to sign in um, before I launch into everything. I'm sorry if you hear two dogs in the background. I have a puppy and a dog, so they're playing away. Hi, everyone. <laughs> I didn't really prepare much of it before, just so we can actually go through each of the stages so it can be slow. Um, okay, so it's five. Um, thank you everyone for joining. Um, sorry, that's a squeaky toy. I have a puppy fostering that's um, having fun with a toy. Uh, anyway, so we're gonna be making a pesto out of basically any greens that um, you have to hand. Um, let me know anyone if it's too loud and I can like control the noises in the background. Um, but yeah, so as you can imagine, we waste a lot of food in this country and in the world. And I'm sure 
um, you know, possibly you're spending a little bit more time at home and you're realizing, you know, you're trying to get the most out of the food that you have bought um, because you're going to the store less. And yeah, so I have a few things here that I have sort of eaten this week or maybe kind of saved for this. So this is some cilantro. Obviously, I'd like pick bits off to add to my salad, but there's like a lot of stalks and a lot of it left. Um, there's also sort of the ends of celery, uh, which also I didn't use. I used the rest for a soup. Um, these are the heads of radishes. And then last night I made carrot soup. So we've got some carrot tops here. So really kind of anything you have is the, the, the idea behind this is that it's kind of what you hopefully um, have in your pantry and you're just using the rest of these things that would otherwise have been thrown away. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna wash this now. Make sure you thoroughly wash everything. Uh, I also wash my hands before starting this. Uh, yeah, okay. So I'm gonna choose for this one, um, the carrot tops and the cilantro. I'm not gonna go for all of the things I have because it might be a bit of a strange concoction, but go for whatever you want. I think why I love cooking is because it's super spontaneous, experimental, I'm really not very good at following recipes. So I wouldn't be surprised if you don't follow anything I say and have a better idea, which you may. So I, by eye, I'm basically just gonna put in two cups into this blender that I have here. Um, and let me know as well if I should slow down. And again, just to remind everyone, we're making pesto, pesto, no, pesto, with um, leftover greens from things like carrot tops, radishes, um, cilantro. I mean, the beauty as well of a blender is it's gonna do the kind of work. Um, so yeah, you can definitely do radish heads and cilantro. I've gone for carrot tops and cilantro. I also have here celery. You know, if you want to add that, you could too. Um, I guess with, you've just got to be careful, like not to use stuff that's too sort of like heavy and dense. Like the celery that I have is a little bit old and it's the head, so it's a little less um, intense because obviously lots of greens can become quite bitter. But once you've added olive oil and everything to it, it'll be good. So I've got that in there. And now I'm going to add the carrot tops. So again, I'm just putting them in pretty large, um, letting the blender do the work. Doo -doo. So just a reminder, yeah, we're making pesto um, with tops of things that you would otherwise throw away. So I think the best way to sort of do this is just keep adding as you go and taste and, and sort of we can figure it out. Yours is gonna be different according to sort of what nuts you're gonna to use too. So we've got the greens in here. Next, um, we can talk about the choice of uh, seeds and nuts. I've opted for a mixture of pine nuts and um, pumpkin seeds. Uh, this is the kind of ratio that I did. I did three quarters of a cup. But I'm actually gonna start with only pouring in about half of this just to see as we go. Um, but yeah, you can do um, cashews, almonds, <laughs> Brazil nuts. Okay, I'm, sorry, my dog is too loud. Um, Brazil nuts, uh, pretty much anything that you have in your cupboards. That's the kind of idea for this uh, recipe. That's hopefully what you have. Um, I'm just gonna have to save my puppy that's gonna fall over one sec. Sorry about that, hopefully gave you a moment to catch up. Okay, so as I was saying, seeds, really whatever you have in your cupboard is great. So I'm gonna pour in, not all of this, just in case maybe I've measured too much with the ratios. So it's about half a cup of any chosen seeds and nuts. And um, again, we're making pesto, so we've got herbs in here, and we got seeds and nuts. And now, 
we're going to go for the parmesan, which I actually, I know I said in the things that to grate it, but it really doesn't matter because the blender's going to do the work. So this is parmesan. If you want to make a vegan version of this, you can also use nutritional yeast. It works perfectly. Um, I would just use a bit less of the nutritional yeast. So this is um, half a cup and maybe just a third a cup of nutritional yeast is good. So we're going to go put that all in. And then next, we're going to go for the olive oil. I'm going to start with two tablespoons, but I really think that I'll probably end up having to put in a bit more. Uh, so yeah, this is two tablespoons. Um, and yeah, we're making, we're gonna, this is an experiment. I haven't made this for a long time. So, and I didn't have enough things to do a uh, like a test of it before we going live. So a little patience with the, with me here. Okay, next we have uh, lemon. You can also use basically anything from any vinegar, really. Um, I would say apple cider vinegar is probably a little bit too strong, but maybe things like, you know, white wine vinegar you could use, even balsamic if you wanted, but I really like lemon uh, as the kind of vinegar side to things. So I'm gonna use this. So far I'm gonna do half and then see as we go, maybe we'll add some more. I will definitely also show you the puppy um, when we're blending. She'll be very excited to have a moment. So that's half a lemon. Okay, so we have, so far we have Parmesan or nutritional yeast. We have greens, we have olive oil, and now I'm gonna add the garlic. Now I did cut up two cloves of garlic because um, I thought in this social distancing time, I can pretty much eat as much garlic as I want and cause no harm to anyone else. Um, but if you don't love garlic, um, maybe just start with one clove um, and go from there. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for half of my amount that I've chopped, so one clove. But you know, this is just an experiment. So we're in it together. Uh, right, the final thing is some salt. I also love salt. I think I said on the thing, a teaspoon, a half teaspoon. So let's go for half a teaspoon. There's also so many other things you can add to this, like you could even make it spicy if you wanted to, or you know, there's so many different flavors that you could kind of put into a dip. And you know, once you have an airtight kind of storage container for it afterwards, you can keep it in your refrigerator and use it over the weekend. Uh, okay, we're gonna go for some blending. So just to catch everyone up, we've got olive oil, we've got greens, I've got um, cilantro sort of stalks and carrot tops. We have parmesan, garlic, salt, and lemon. So here we go. A little more, that'd be good. Okay, so I'm gonna start as pretty low. And start blending. Also, if you um, don't have a blender, I've, I've actually done this before without a blender. I've just kind of chopped everything up really, really small and just mixed it up. Um, So I'm going to add a little bit more oil. Um, and sort of, I guess, a little bit about the story behind why we're making this pesto. Uh, I recently, in the last few years, have got really interested in waste, basically, like what we waste and how um, waste causes a lot of methane, which is as sort of destructive as carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. And, um, you know, 150,000 tons a day uh, is food is wasted here in America. So it's a staggering amount. Um, and we, as we are a bit more at home now, we're maybe like visually actually seeing that a little bit more. So that was the story behind um, today's pesto. I'm gonna add another tablespoon of olive oil. Let me know if people are able to follow along or you want me to repeat anything or explain anything, just hit it in the comments and I will try and do that. So we're gonna blend this again now because it wasn't, it was kind of too dry. Okay. 
while that's going, maybe I'll get my puppy. It's not actually mine, it's a foster puppy. She's right here. I think she can smell everything going on. This is my foster puppy. <laughs> she's 10 weeks old and she's learning very, very fast. Her name is actually Ginny. That's kind of why I got connected to her really in the first place. Um, but she's been adopted, but I have her for another week. Um, and yeah. So the question there was, did we do the vinegar? I actually did lemon instead of vinegar, but that was another option if you wanted the lemon or the vinegar. Uh, so definitely add that in there if you um, had it. Uh, I would say maybe like a tablespoon of that. So this is nearly, so as you can see, I'll show you something. So this is obviously getting a bit stuck on the side. So I'm gonna sort of push that down um, and maybe use it as a chance. Also, another thing I would highly advise if you are sharing your home with people, just making sure as you're cooking that you're not like double dipping um, utensils and you're washing everything is very important at this time. Okay, so you can, you can kind of see, but you can see that the, um, particularly the cilantro stalks, because they're quite like literally quite stalky and rough, they take that a little bit longer to blend. Oh, thanks for the suggestion. The person who says they think the noise is it stuck. Okay, I'm going to put this spoon back in because I didn't actually taste anything. So this is actually my neighbor's blender. I don't actually own a blender. Um, so obviously in these times we have to get friendly at a distance. Um, so thank you to Dana for lending me your blender. Okay, we'll try. I'd love to know as well what people are using in their um, in their version of the pesto, what seeds they chose, what nuts they chose. Okay, this is finally gonna have to test it. Okay, whoa. It's like very non parmesan heavy. So I'm gonna add some more olive oil, lemon, and I think some more greens, like a little bit more. Um, so yeah, it's just kind of a, you know, it's just an experimental thing that you slowly figure out, really. Um, I don't really stick to many recipe instructions, so you don't really have to listen to mine. <laughs> this is more just a fun experience to do together. Um, okay, so I'm gonna add another half a lemon. So in total, I basically put a whole lemon. Um, and ooh, someone's used walnuts, which are really nice. And then a bit more salt. And then I'm gonna do another tablespoon of olive oil. Okay, now we're going to blend this. Hope everyone is following along, or we'll probably be able to share this as well a bit more often. But okay, I'm going to go. Okay, um, right, okay, I'm gonna use another spoon, a new spoon to taste test this. Um, hope everyone's being able to follow along. Okay. Oh, bless you, that was my dog. Um, mm, well, it's like super Parmesan-y, which I really love. If it does start to taste too Parmesan-y, I would maybe add a few more of the nuts, just to kind of like cut through that quite salty um, taste, or even add, Pepper could be kind of an interesting way to mix it up. Um, 
Okay, so I'm going to add a bit more nuts. I'm going to taste it one more time, and then I will love you and leave you and hope that you have managed to do this yourself. I'd also highly advise, as I said, maybe getting like a mason jar, an old jam jar, and storing this. Um, super nice to have on salads and soups and pasta and anything, really. I mean, you could use it as a dip. What can you use if you can't eat nuts? Ooh, that's an interesting one. I don't know, are you also allergic to seeds? Because there's lots of other seeds that they're not like tree nuts that can be useful. I don't know if that's helpful. Like I use pumpkin seeds in this. Um, I'm not sure, unless you did it like heavy Parmesan, so it almost just became sort of like another, I mean, traditionally obviously pesto is basil um, or basil, um, but we've gone for all the different ones. Okay, so I'm gonna test this one more time. I need one more spoon. Mm, okay, that's finally beginning to taste how I thought it should taste. So I hope you've um, managed to follow along. Again, the reason behind this um, recipe and live video today was just to look at the things that we maybe discard and um, just assume are going to go into the trash. Um, I hope maybe, you know, this is a time as well, if you don't compost, you could start looking into that as a possibility, whether or not it's putting it into your green trash bins that get collected or starting your own in your yard um, or finding like a community garden. Um, because, I mean, the way I really like to understand waste is actually seeing it as energy. So you can sort of really, nothing is ever wasted. It can become something else. It can be reused, remade, decomposed properly. The real problem with landfills is that there isn't much oxygen in landfills. So things like these carrot tops, if they were thrown away, wouldn't really decompose at the rate that they can do in a compost or as a pesto. So I hope you enjoyed um, the live video and thanks for joining along with the experiment of it. Uh, and I hope um, you have a lovely Friday and you get to eat this because I'm going to go and eat this. So bye-bye.